<laughs> it's a good thing that I came to help you at the tavern, Holmes. Actually, I would far rather you stop helping me. Alright, welcome back. <laughs> this is more uh, Sherlock Holmes, the devil's daughter. Oh, 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 oh okay. Our suspect with his <clears throat> family near their house. I'm tired of my damn neighbors, I swear. So I gotta find a... Find a door. Hmm. Now, let me see. Let me see a picture again. Wait, is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. I think this is it. This has to be it. That was easy. Can we go inside? Good day to you, madam. Good day, sir. All right, what do we have? What? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Glasses. Yep. For eyesight, <laughs> drinking tea of the Bible, reading the Bible. I gotta stay. <coughs> Mother is a religious woman of middle age. She lives a quiet life, seldom venturing outside. Uh, her home contains religious pictures and symbols. She is short sighted and wears spectacles with strong. Glasses. I'm here to see your son, Jeremiah. He's not at home now. Might I ask you a few questions about him? Perhaps we could speak inside. I don't know who you are, sir, but I'll have to ask you to leave right away. She won't speak with a stranger. Gain entry to his house. How? Can help organize the exorcism. He is always. Oh, axe for wagons. Nice. Now, how, do, how does disguising myself will help? He says she doesn't talk to anyone she doesn't know, so who does she know that I could disguise myself as? A bandit? Well, not a bandit, I'm already wearing that. Oh, a pasture. Okay. Change his hat. I can wear that. <laughs> Get out of that. Alright, fine. I was said I could go see a uh, Wiggins. For whatever reason, so let me go find him. He should be close by. You see, but you do not observe. The distinction is clear. I don't care what he's talking about. Go! I don't care what he's talking about. Apparently he's gonna run and down the stairs. Alright, there you go. Is that Wiggins? Is that Wiggins? Oh, it is. Wiggins, an exorcism. Protocol 2.5 on Lambeth Street. Yeah, you can count on us, Gov. Hmm, that's it, all right. We're ready, Gov. All right, we're ready. Wait, I'm not all about Went the wrong way. Someone close the door. I should find a way to attract the attention of Jeremiah's mother. I 
Oh, well, I gotta do it. All right. Too high. All right. <laughs> Still too high. Try again. Probably too low. Little rascal! Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself. It tends only to evil. Thank you, Father. You are so kind. Those brats are always causing trouble. Now, where are my manners? Uh, may I offer you a cup of tea as a small thank you? I don't know if... Oh, God bless you, sister. My name is Margaret Thorne. It is an honor that God sent you to me. You appear grieved, sister. Is it because of those children? Oh, no. It is my son, Jeremiah. I fear that he is doing bad things, father. How bad? I don't know. He has just become nervous and angry and rude. And he used to be such a nice boy. These days he won't spend any time at all with us. Not even with Janet, his younger sister. He hides himself away inside his room and locks the door. And he won't open it for anyone. And where is your son? I don't know where he is. He hasn't come back from last night. I'm so worried. Perhaps his absence is connected with his job. Where does he work? I don't know if he has a job, Father. I've asked him several times, but he just gets angry and won't speak. Perhaps Jeremiah is being poorly influenced by his friends. I wouldn't know. He never mentions any friends. I am afraid that he could be possessed by the devil himself. He's changed so drastically lately. He won't tell me anything, and he flies into rages and shouts at me. I don't know what to do. Don't distress yourself, sister. You were right to confess. Truly, I... I can feel an evil presence in this apartment. Oh, God! Allow me to search for the demon in this house. God bless you, Father. All right, I think I'm slowly. <laughs> I think I'm slowly uh, getting sick. Excuse if you heard my phone going off. Now where the? Fire and flames, better for crumpets than foul-toothed demons. Be gone and bring peace. <laughs> That's cool. Bookcase and books, possessed ah. wood and words. Expel your literary demons. Ah. <laughs> they mean <laughs> Oh, holy spirit! Save your pans. From demons and poor citizenship. <laughs> window, window frame. I uh, must protect you from demonic pain. Pain. Ah. She didn't see him on the other side. She had a good view of him from where she was standing. Can go in there, can go in there, just this. Alright. Keep walking on it. Wooden door! Iron handle! Battle the demon! Unholy vandal! Sister. You saw that the demon has taken shelter in Jeremiah's room. I should go there alone. God save us. Sister, wait for me outside. This fight will be a fierce one. God help us. I'll do what you say. <laughs> I don't know why I like that so much, but I did. <laughs> All 
Alright, what do we got? Does he plan to escape from London? One of the solenoids for creating a bomb. This is probably Janet, Jeremiah's sister. A schematic for a homemade bomb. This is evidence enough to put Jeremiah behind bars. It looks as though this letter was torn up in rage. I should reassemble the fragments to read what was written. All right, I gotta do this. So let me put this down here. All right, there. Then maybe this. Boom. This. Boom. Now move these over here. Then this. Goes here. Boom. And put these together. And boom. Put it like that. Boom. Right here. It appears yeah. that Jeremiah received a threatening letter from somebody known as the Dart. Just like to remind you that this world can be a cruel and unforgiving place, especially for those who don't keep their promises to finish what they started. It would be pretty rotten if someone you loved or cared for, such as your sister, ended up in a joy house. The Dart. The Dart. He was at the center of a notorious case from 1888. It's over. The demon is defeated. Oh, thank you. Bless you, Father. Now, pray for Jeremiah's soul and give thanks, sister. Goodbye. Lord be praised. Goodbye. Alright, complete it. What do we got? Let me get out this house first. Alright. Hmm. Components. Uh huh, and hold me bomb. Put that together. Stone into. Correct. Does anything. Nope. Nothing connects. Can I combine anything else? Probably not. Going to take what is this? Oh, that's right. Oh, just a guess. No, I don't know nothing. It's the person who we saw in the tavern, and the same man who made the attempt on Holmes' life. Okay, something does. Yay! 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 yay. Jeremiah visited Jack Cole to discuss the attempt. Attempted assassination of Sherlock Holmes and to discuss the next stage of the plan. Visited Cole only to bring a bag containing stolen items, probably to sell. Oh, that, oh, that was quick. What about these? Shouldn't they all connect? To accept this fate. Let me keep. Let me see something. Alright, I can't talk to him again, so I guess I have to choose. I can't talk to. Jeremiah. Mm hmm. Alright, I guess I gotta do it. Whatever. Oop, wrong thing. Abandoned and a danger to society, to society, there is no one to blame for his brother's ill fortune. But Jack Cole still chose to seek out his revenge. His place is in prison. 
as his brother is unable to accept his fate. It is therefore understandable why Cole attempted to kill. He deserves one more chance and should not be sent to prison. If he's not, he's probably going to try to kill Sherlock again. Condemned. Mr. Cole, I find you guilty of the attempt made on my life. What? I didn't have anything to do with it. It's all clear to me. You wish to avenge your brother who was left crippled by a stray bullet. That's just your sick imagination. Jack Cole, you are a menace to society and I have no doubt that you'll get an appropriate sentence. You Scotland Yard dogs! Constable, take him back to the cells. 